Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are watching the finale of Kaiju number 8 today. Last episode's cliffhanger was probably the worst in the series for me. That was rough. We had Kafka, who it seemed like he could not control his kaiju form, um, and he was lunging at Shinomiya's father. Shinomiya was like yelling Kafka's name to try to get him to like snap out of it and wake up. I feel like he is gonna snap out of it, but the thing is, what is he gonna do? What are these people gonna do to him? Because they're already so wary of him, and they're like you are not a human you are a kaiju we have to put you down basically and i feel like this is just proving their point so let's get into this last episode though everyone thank you all so much for watching the show with me i think we're actually gonna be watching fruits basket after this i know that's like a very different show <laughs> from kaiju number eight but i know a lot of people have been wanting to see my reaction to fruits basket and i have been wanting to watch it for a long time and so i think that's what's going to come next you can look forward to that but again thank you everyone for watching this show with me thank you for watching on patreon thank you for watching on youtube i really really appreciate it but without further ado let's watch episode 12 the finale of kaiju number eight you're joking i want to see what's going on with kafka i feel like of course he is He's got some good growths. Aww. This guy's so funny. I'm not sure it's gonna be good news. I really don't know. Is she the only person in here? Oh god. Wow. Okay. Oh god, here he is. Holy shit. He's trying to stop! He's trying to stop! I cannot even imagine... I cannot even imagine, like, being in there and not being able to control yourself. Shit. It escaped his body? Oh. Wow. Someone... Someone needs to somehow stop him without killing him. I don't know. Yeah. He could have just killed him. But he didn't. Interesting. Maybe he does have good intentions. I don't know. That would be a twist, because honestly, I like did not believe in her father at all. Oh. This guy, what's he up to? I like, I want to trust him, I do, but... No. <gasps> uh oh. Kafka. Yes. Oh my god. There's no way the father dies too. Jeez. Oh! <gasps> they're, 
No, no. Someone needs to bring him back. How is he gonna get a control on himself? Oh my god, poor Shinomiya. Can't do this to her. She can't lose another parent. Oh my god! Whoa! No. Oh my god, her VA is insane. Come on. The way it's like attached to his body. What the fuck? <gasps> what the hell is that? It's e it's eating him? He had hope! Oh my god, he had hope for him. Come on, you can't screw up, you can't give up. Is this childhood bestie? Yes. That just gave me the chills. Now, what what do you do in this situation if you are this director? He almost just killed you. And how are you going to prevent this from happening again? Wow. It's a huge weapon. Narumi? I feel like I recognize that voice. I also feel like this guy is going to be important. They like named him right away. Wait, what? 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 Wait, what is their conclusion? Paperwork? Typo. Oh my god, this guy is like helped that doesn't mean that. Yeah, like, yes, but also, it doesn't mean that. Oh, そして。Oh. Little babies. Oh, <laughs> they can cry together. She has someone to cry with. Man, did she? Was that like? Was that where she lives? I know Miko's her cat. Come on, stand up for him, director. Stand up for him. You can't do that. Director, you can't do that. Jeez.
絶対許せねえってだからもし自分が身も心も怪獣になっちまうんだったら人間として死のうと思ったんだ、うん He lives. m e z o m e t o k I would be terrified if I woke up next to him. He's probably just so happy that he didn't hurt him.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a good guy, guys. Kafka is so good. I don't know. I don't know. What is his plan for him? Damn. But. Okay. Mm. Good. How are you gonna do that? そんなものはこの国の防衛に比べればさますなことだ。うん。忘れたわけではあるまい。10年前の6号を中心とした軍閥災害を200人以上の隊員と300 officers and three captains. She is. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of seems like that's what's going to be happening because they just keep popping up. I'm like, I'm pleasantly surprised by how this went. Wow. Yeah, that's also concerning. I mean, man. Do you think her and Kafka can talk? What is it? What did she get? What was the notification? Come on. <laughs> Disposal deferred. Mm. Oh my god. Alright, girly. Oh gosh. Ichikawa! Ichikawa, your best, he's alive! <laughs> Ichikawa's like, I wanted to be the most excited for him. I think he knows. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> Man. Is he gonna come back here right away? Or is he gonna stay there, like where he is? Mm. <laughs> Did he just fall asleep while sitting up? Oh, that was cute. <laughs> He's a cute man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Number nine guy circling last week. Oh. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Oh, that's great. That's great. What the fuck? Where'd he get all these monitors from? Who was that? The kaiju power that fell into human hands back on our side. I'm confused. There's two of them? Okay. 
What a great finale. Okay, I really enjoyed this. Also, I just like really enjoyed this show in general. I know there's some people that like really harp on the shonen genre. They're like, oh my god, everything in shonen is the same and they like just get tired of it. Or like they they don't know why why this show is popular. And like I understand their sentiment, but it's like maybe it's popular because it's fun and people like it and it's actually good. I was very pleasantly surprised by the show. Are there typical shonen tropes in it? Yes, but also I feel like it's still so different than a lot of shonen shows that I have watched. Like the protagonist being 30 plus years old, that's probably my favorite part about this show. And also just like seeing the dynamic that this protagonist has with his friends like Shinomiya and Ichikawa who they're younger than him, but there's still like such healthy relationships between all of them. It's just very fun to watch, you know? And then of course, like the humor, it's fun. Um, and I think the plot is really interesting. I have a lot of questions about like where the story is going to go. And one thing in particular that I'm wondering is if the show is going to continue to have this like silly but serious tone to it or if it's going to become more serious because now Kafka is basically going to be used as a weapon. I think they'll have to keep his personality silly and lighthearted. Like, like it is um but i could see it going to like the darker side because lots of things are changing for kafka and they basically want to use him as a war weapon which he obviously doesn't want to do that he just wants to stand by mina's side but yeah i hope there's a season two i'm not sure if they confirmed it yet but i will be sat for it i'm wondering who these kaiju are at the end because like we knew that there was one kaiju who could shapeshift into a human and i remember i recognized him i don't know who the other one is that they show because i thought we only saw one of those like humanoid kaiju but it seems like there's another one and they look exactly the same and they seem to be mad that the humans are taking the kaiju's powers and i'm guessing they mean uh the humans like the defense force who is stealing the kaiju's powers to make them into weapons like they did with number two yeah, I had a lot of fun watching this. Thank you all so much for watching this with me as well. Whenever season two comes out, I will be watching it. Um, but next up, we're going to be watching Fruits Basket, so y'all can look forward to that. I know it's very different from the shows that we've been watching lately, but it's been so long since I watched a romance or a slice of life on the channel, and so I'm like ready. I'm ready for that. <laughs> ready for something new. Um, but yeah, thank you all again, and I will see you for season two whenever Kaiju comes out or in my future reaction videos. Okay, bye everyone!